Alright boys, we're back and we're gonna find out how good a duo of Sidney Crosby and Mario Lemieux would be. I mean, I guess they did play together for a couple years, but Mario was way past his prime and Crosby was only a kid. He was still Sid the Kid at that point. But now we're gonna find out how good they would be if they played the majority of their careers together. Crosby is 25 years old and Mario is 26, so they're gonna be playing a lot with each other. Pause. They're going to be living together, sleeping in the same bed, doing the same activities day by day to become the very best duo of all time. Honestly, this team is not bad. Crosby would have 111 points while Mario Lemieux would have 96. Bit of a slow start for Mario Lemieux. Hello there, Connor McDavid. The Penguins would finish second in the Metro. We would end up losing to New Jersey in round number one. The Boston Bruins would end up winning the Stanley Cup. Crosby wins the Calder at age 25. Brad Marchand takes home the Conn Smythe. Crosby is a 96 overall and Mario is a 97 overall. Yet again, Mario Lemieux would not hit 100 points, which is honestly really weird. Crosby would. He would have 45 goals and 104 points, which again is not very impressive when you have Mario Lemieux on your line. I was expecting a lot more. Connor McDavid is Connor McDavid. Pittsburgh would end up finishing second in the metro we would end up losing in the very first round yet again kind of like how toronto does every year the colorado avalanche would take home the stanley cup crosby takes home his second lady bing nathan mckinnon takes home the con smythe Sidney crosby is a 96 overall and mario is a 97 it's time to grow to diapers mario lemieux and put up 100 points buddy you crosby and Gensel on the first line that is easy 100 points for at least two of these guys i'm sorry but one of these is not like the other crosby would have 116 points and mario lemieux would have 110 so he finally Finally cracked 100 points but still cannot overtake Crosby. Connor McDavid is still dominating. A prime Sidney Crosby is right behind him though. The Penguins would finish second in the Metro yet again. We would end up losing in game 7 of the third round to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Do you know how bad you actually have to be to lose to the Toronto Maple Leafs in game 7? Anyways, the Colorado Avalanche would end up winning the Stanley Cup. 5 straight for McDavid. Back to back con Smythe for Nathan McKinnon. Lemieux is a 97 overall and Crosby is a 96 overall. They have Mario Lemieux at center now and Crosby on the wing. Let's see how how this goes. Sidney Crosby would still be doing his thing, but Mario Lemieux, man, 98 points. You are slacking, my guy. I guess he's just floating around admiring Crosby's beautiful face. Like, come on now, stop staring at Sid the Kid and score a fucking goal. Crosby would have the most points out of any player, including Nathan McKinnon, the greatest player of all time. Pittsburgh would end up making the playoffs. We would end up losing in the first round yet again. Colorado would take home another Stanley Cup. Crosby would only take home the Art Ross as Nathan McKinnon cleans up the rest, and he would take home his third straight con Smythe. So there's that. Mario Lemieux would take home the Selkie trophy though. Maybe he's just focusing a lot on the D. Not Crosby's D, just, you know, defense in general. Have you ever wondered how big it is? I mean, look at Crosby's legs, if that is any indicator. Lemieux is a 97 and Crosby is a 96. Finally, Mario Lemieux stopped sucking Crosby's D to finally start putting up some points. Lemieux would end up having 119 points while Crosby had 111. They would end up being one and two in the scoring race. Mark Shifley had 106 points. Points. Penguins would end up finishing first in the Metro. The Islanders would end up beating us in the second round. And the Winnipeg Jets would end up winning the Stanley Cup. Mario had 15 points in the playoffs and Crosby had 13. So they would kind of show up. Mario Lemieux would take home the Ted Lindsay, the Art Ross, and the Hart Trophy. Mark Shifley would take home the Conn Smythe. Lemieux is a 97 overall and Crosby is a 96. There we go. Crosby put up 140 points and Mario would have 139. Lemieux would have 45 goals and Crosby would have 48. They were obviously one and two in the entire league. Shout out Kaprizov putting up 48 goals and 124 points. Obviously the Penguins finished second in the Metro. Of course we would end up losing in the very first round to the New York Islanders. Winnipeg would end up winning another Stanley Cup. We have a lot of parity here. Lemieux would take home the Ted Lindsay. Crosby would take home the Art Ross and Lemieux would take home the Hart. A very good year for the duo. Crosby is taking home every single Lady Bing. Kyle Connor would take home the Conn Smythe and Lemieux would take home his third straight Selkie. Crosby is a 96 overall and Mario is a 96. 97. Crosby would put up 123 points and Mario would have 106. 43 goals for Crosby and 40 for Lemieux, so they're pretty close. Crosby would have the most points. Shout out Kent Johnson. The Penguins would finish first in the Metro. We would end up losing in the very first round to Montreal. That is honestly embarrassing. And the Toronto Maple Leafs would go on to win the Stanley Cup. Crosby would take home the Ted Lindsay, the Art Ross, and the Hart Trophy. Also, the Lady Bing. Mitch Marner would take home the Conn Smythe. Lemieux is a 97 overall and Crosby is a 96. 
still the best duo in the league. Hopefully this can be the year that we actually win a Stanley Cup. Sidney Crosby yet again would have an amazing season. He had 131 points while Mario Lemieux only had 107. Crosby would also have more goals than Mario with 48 compared to his 45. So it seems like Lemieux is second fiddle to Crosby, which I gotta be honest, I did not see that one coming. Connor McDavid finishes second place. There's Nathan McKinnon putting up 61 goals. Greatest player of all time. The Penguins yet again would finish first in the Metro with 50 wins. It took this long, but we're finally here. Somehow we went 12 and one in the playoffs and we're playing the Winnipeg Jets. And finally, the Pittsburgh Penguins win the Stanley Cup. What has it been, like seven, eight years? Finally, the duo gets it done. I mean, I was worried for a while there. Sidney Crosby is your Conn Smythe winner. He's honestly been better than Mario throughout this whole simulation. Here he is, Captain Sidney Crosby, Sid the Kid, lifting the Stanley Cup for the very first time. It's almost like we're back in 2009, baby. He's obviously going to pass it off to Mario Lemieux, his butt buddy. The dynamic duo finally wins their first Stanley Cup. Now the race was tight, but I do believe Sidney Crosby deserved the Conn Smythe. I mean, it could have gone either way to be honest, but I'm not mad at it at all. Crosby takes home the Ted Lindsay, the Art Ross, and the Hart Trophy. The Lady Bing, which he wins every single year basically. And he would also take home the Conn Smythe. Lemieux is a 97 overall and Crosby is a 96. Lemieux would have a very big year. He scored 50 goals and had 138 points, while Crosby had 43 goals and 127 points. Mario did show up this season though, I gotta admit, 50 goals, 88 assists obviously would be the most in the entire league nice try connor pittsburgh would end up finishing third in the metro with 46 wins we would end up losing in the eastern conference finals the colorado avalanche would take home the stanley cup lemieux and crosby they both showed out crosby had 20 assists only four goals lemieux would take home the ted lindsey the art ross and the Hart trophy crosby's just dominating the lady bing alex newhook somehow won the con smythe both mario lemieux and Sidney crosby dropped down to a 95 overall 34 and 35 years old they're getting old man well if you thought crosby was washed my god were you wrong he would put up 50 goals and 162 points mario would have a pretty decent season too he had 55 goals and 117 points the penguins would have their best season yet finishing first in the metro with 56 wins we would end up choking harder than jamal murray's girlfriend did in that video no seriously did you guys see that and the montreal canadians take home the stanley cup crosby would take home the ted lindsey the art ross and the Hart trophy you already know he took home the lady bing as well well boys it looks Looks like Mario Lemieux decided to retire, and that would mean breaking up the dynamic duo. Now Sid the Kid is all alone at age 35. My bad boys, I completely messed up and did not realize that he retired in the offseason. Wow, he was only 36 years old too, 95 overall. I think he called it quits a little too early. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. Turn notifications on so you don't miss a single upload. And remember, don't be silly, wrap your willy. Goddamn, what is Crosby gonna do now? Alone again?